guys can invite me down here on Tuesday morning. I got started and forgot to even start videoing. The only thing I did was I put a coat of the carrot cake color up here on this. And uh, I decided to go with that because I thought it would be nice to have the color just kind of pop over that way. So that's one coat. I got one more coat to do on that. Uh, and we're fixing to start on some baseboard. And on the baseboard, I'm going very simplistic. I got some eight foot boards because that's what I could get in my car. I didn't want to have to ask anybody for help to get longer boards. So, uh, and I don't have access to a good saw. So we're basically going to just be buttoned up and uh, I'm trying to make it look as neat as possible. And, uh, I'm not going to be overly concerned because I'm going to take my time and I have caulking. So those two things help. So we're just going to get the, a simple baseboard done and uh, I am going to uh, cope or whatever the uh, the edges where they meet or they butt up. I found my coping saw, so I am going to kind of notch out, butt them up nice and uh, get that done today. So uh, let's go ahead and start. And uh, I'm not even worrying about breaking on a stud because I'm going to nail into the bottom plate that I have going around. And uh, we're just going to do the best we can and make this kind of quick and painless as possible, guys. So let's go ahead and start some baseboard. Come on. Around. This is where it would be nice if I had a little pneumatic finishing gun where I can just pop some nails in. I'm gonna try and do it as clean as I can with my hammer. I may have to put my butt up in the camera for a second. So, not that you can see real well, but you can see, did it nice and easy. No marring, no scarring. Looks pretty good. All the little nails looking pretty good. Got it right down the bottom plate. And I'll probably run a bead of caulking on there just to help out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna finish up this uh, baseboard. Tools in hand, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna take a piece outside and get going here. We're gonna, uh, and we're gonna do it again. So we'll catch up with you when I'm done. So stick around guys for the next clip. And uh, yeah, stick around. All right guys, I kind of found a little mistake that I made when I was laying the floor. If you recall, I had a one by against the wall and I butted up the flooring to the one by. What does that mean? Well, that means we got about a one inch gap, about a half inch gap or so, uh, probably one inch, but uh, between the wall and this first piece of flooring. Uh oh. So, not too good of a deal, guys. Um, Sometimes things happen. I want to show my mistakes along with uh, the things that I do really well. It's like when I'm lifting weights, I like to show my success, but I also like to show you when I fail. So what I'm going to do is, number one, I got to raise this baseboard up because there's a gap there, you know, but there's no floor. So I got some little pieces here of the flooring. So we're going to put that down here, give us something uh, to set the baseboard on. And also, 
Um, so we're going to attach this to the wall, and uh, it has just a, a little bit of a gap, of course, between the flooring and the baseboard. So what I'm going to do is just get a piece of that corner round, or whatever the heck it's called, and just put down here on this one side, and that'll cover it all up. So sometimes you kind of do things and eh. So, but it's going to look okay. It's going to be all right. So here's the gap that's left that I'll show you. Now that little sliver right there is just what was spacing the uh, baseboard up high enough for me. So I got a little bit to cover up there. And, uh, so yeah, like I said, things happen. And uh, I'm not a professional and I didn't think ahead. So we'll get it. Okay, so we're finished pretty much with the baseboard. Like I said, we're gonna use a little caulking in there. And like I also said, uh, trying to make, you know, trying to take the time and make this look like a million dollar home when it's not, uh, isn't an option. It's just, you do something, you do it decent and uh, you make yourself proud. And uh, again, I gotta get something to, uh, to take care of this gap that I put it here. So I'm probably just gonna get a one by and uh, paint it white and stick to the baseboard there and uh, do that or something. Or some, uh, some of the smaller molding stuff, whatever the heck it's called. I'll do something. And uh, I had plans to do it, but then I didn't have plans and then I replanned it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some baseboard around the brick. Uh, it, it does fit where this lip is, so there's enough room uh, that it don't get in the way. So I think I'm gonna do some around here. And how will I fasten it to the brick? Well, I'll probably just use some adhesive, some like Gorilla Glue stuff or something like that. And uh, kind of press it up against there and let it dry and uh, finish that little bit in right there. So, overall guys, I'm pretty happy with everything. Uh, I think it looks great. I went ahead and I painted that, the orange. Of course, it's wet right now, so. And uh, so I still have to put up some one by around this whole room, all around up there. That's why it's not cut in super tight. But, uh, Look at there, follow that finger. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Look at there, look at that, all the way back around. So we gotta put some uh, one by there. Um, I'll probably do some one by uh, where the brick meets the drywall. You know, just a little bit of odds and ends, a little touch and, you know, a little bit of this and that, nothing too major. And uh, we'll have her done, guys. I'll get my outlets put in. I'll do that today too. And uh, yeah. So that'll end this clip. And since I am gonna do the outlets and that, I'll go ahead and film that and put that at the, put that in this video as well. We'll do that later. And, uh, so anyway, guys, stick around. I hope you've enjoyed this. So it's been a nice little journey. And uh, so stick around for more clips in this video right here. All right, guys, I said I'd give you another little clip, and I forgot to do a video with the first three things that I've done here.
So I've stuck my outlets in, three of them anyway. Outlet, outlet, outlet. I'm still gonna do this one and this one. So if I can remember, I'll try and get a quick little clip. Um, sorry for the movement there. I'll try and get a clip if I can remember. But uh, I also had the plumbers coming in and doing some stuff, and so it kind of distracted me. So anyway, I also got to go to Lowe's and get uh, two more outlets. I got a GFCI for the home run, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to put in a regular outlet. I don't need a GFCI in here, and I don't feel like I don't feel like doing it. Okay, okay, I forgot to mark which wire was my home run. Okay, so. Anyway, um, and I don't have a little detector to do all that kind of mess, so I'm just going to go get another dollar outlet and stick in there. And uh, I'll get covers, and uh, yeah. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my desk. Uh, if you remember my last office from our last house, I built my own desk, and I've done it before. Uh, you put a two by, a one by two, or two, whatever on the wall and you just lay, you know, you attach wood to the top of it and you can make some, uh, you know, shelving and stuff. And it's a nice, it's a nice desk. It's a nice way to do it. But I kind of don't want to attach nothing to the wall. These walls look really nice. So I almost don't want to attach nothing to them. But uh, we'll see because I don't really have a whole lot of option because I don't have money to just go out and buy a desk or anything. So we'll see. What I do, I may just end up using my old desk and attaching it to the wall and calling it a day. We'll see. So anyway, guys, just a nice quick little clip, and I'll try to remember to get me a, get a clip of me uh, putting in one of my outlets, and that way all the electricians can. Oh my God, that's not how you do it. You know who you are. So anyway, guys, stick around for another clip, and we'll see you in a little bit. today's uh, wrap up. All I did was paint that strip up there orange, that carrot cake orange. I put my outlets in and I put the covers on and I put the baseboard down and then I went and bought two of these to put down there where that uh, floor is stopped a little bit too far back. Uh, so I just had kind of a little different 
you know, baseboard. It would be kind of this and then a baseboard. So. so that pretty much does it for today. Uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, let me show you. Hey, outlet cover. Just wanted to show you. Outlet cover. Outlet covers. No outlet cover. Outlet cover. That's because for some reason I think I've only got four outlets in here when I have five. So I get to find uh, myself going back to Lowe's to get more. Let's put the camera the phone back on the tripod. So, anyway, hope you get a little inspiration from my videos. I know I'm not working out right now, but I hope this gives you some inspiration to do a little something around your house, some projects that you might want to do and put off. And uh, you don't have to be a professional. Uh, just take your time and do things right. All right? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for the body beat down. That's me, Michael. And get up, get out, get ready. Do it, do it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Hey. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!